Hi guys and welcome to my channel Carnival of Creativity. Today's video is going to be a DIY sort of feathers sun catcher. I first saw this idea on Pinterest and really loved how it looked but I don't think there was a tutorial, I think it was just like a link to buy them, like a stained glass type thing. So I've done it with plastic to make it a little bit easier and yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoy this. Please make sure to subscribe if you do and without further ado, let's hop right into it. So the first thing you want to do is grab yourself some plastic like wrap sort of that's on the bottom of food packages is what I'm using. This was a salami packet and you just want to clean off any labels before going in with your um, stained glass outlining stuff. Um, and then just simply draw out your feather shape. I'm not entirely sure what this stuff's called. Um, it, came in my stained glass set I know that there's a similar thing that you use on silk which is called gouta but you just want to go ahead and draw your feather shapes in a few different sizes and different like sort of layouts and shapes just so that they're all a little bit unique um, I did line up the middle as well to make it look more feather like another thing that I think would look really cool is if you popped some like dots inside it for an added design um, going into the center stick but then you just want to leave this to dry um, as per your instructions mine said about an hour um, before going in with your stain effects so I wanted to do a gradient effect for my um, feathers so for one of them I did a greeny bluey started off with the green then went to the blue and blended the colors in the middle a bit um, just by dotting it down um, then once you've done that color you want to finish off with your next color and just play around with the way the colors mix as you like it I also did another colour combination of um, like pinky ready like colours and an orangey one for the little one as well. Starting off again with um, the lighter of the colours before working my way down. Swapping colours, blending the line together so that it's nice and like blended um, I did have a bit of trouble with a few of my colors just because I'd used them before and the um, nibs had got blocked but they were really easy to unblock with just a pin and you also want to make sure that you're not leaving any air bubbles And these would also look really cool on the bottom of like a dream catcher as well. Then once again, once they have dried as per your instructions, I left mine overnight to make sure that they were nice and fully dry. You just simply want to cut your feathers out. I then also tied some string around them so that I could hang them from the window handle. And there we are. Thanks for watching this video guys, I really hope that you enjoyed it. I think the feathers look really nice and really effective with the gradient effect on them. Please make sure to subscribe if you like this video and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!